If you've got a machine shop full of manuals but you want to start automating things, you need to check out the Harrison Alpha range. Keep watching to find out why. So Keith, can you explain how this machine works? Because I've not seen one of these before and, and why you'd want one of these over a CNC or a manual. Great. Well, this is your first step into CNC, as you've mentioned. So, based on a manual machine, this particular size is based on a Colchester Triumph. Yeah, if you look at the casting, it looks exactly, exactly like the Exactly the same bed and headstock. All we do is we take the lead screws out, put ball screws in, put a, a, a Fanuc Which CNC. Which you see here. Yeah, Fanuc CNC control on there, Fanuc drives, Fanuc motors, uh, and you've got yourself... Uh, a manual strokes uh, CNC machine. It's a funny looking thing to see that the, the really uh, ubiquitous design of the Colchester sliding bed lathe, which is just such a classic, and then seeing a Fanuc control stuck on the end of it. Yeah, definitely. You can use it manually. You can leave the doors open on the Fanuc version and you can wind the handles, the, uh, the multi-pulse generators, uh, and you can use it as a manual machine, just using this as an expensive DRO, if you like. So you can get your operators, one of the handles who are used to the manual machines. Yep. Within half a day, we, th we say we can, uh, we can get somebody making parts. Okay, so that makes, that makes a lot of sense. I guess it's, it's easy to use, but why would you go for over a, a, a standard CNC machine? Well, I think it's the, the, uh, uh, the, the combination of being able to use it manually, uh, one-offs, uh, small batch work, 20s and 30s, great repeatability. It's a tool room based lathe, so the repeatability second to none full-blown CNC, you can switch it into, into the CNC mode and start making you know, small batches up to two, 300. Okay, so it's, it's really easy to use for your operators for the batch work just for, to wind them manually can, and they can learn it in 30 minutes. Yep. But when it comes to the automatic side, there's, here there's, uh, there's a manual tool change here, but obviously if you've got different features, screws, grooves, what other options are there for tool changing? Okay, so you see a Dixon quick change tool post there. You can have the other various uh, variants of, uh, of uh, quick change manual tool posts. We also do it with uh, an eight station auto um, disc changer, uh, VDI 40. Um, we do do a driven tool version as well, both in this size and two sizes further up the range. Okay, so if you've got an OPT10 with quite a lot of different features, you can do all those in one hit once you've walked away from the machine. Yep, if you've got the auto changer, you can link a few ops together and produce a part. What, the difference, what about the difference in accuracy between this and a CNC machine? It's exactly the same. It's a full-blown CNC control at the end of the day. Right, okay, so uh, your encoders are all the same. Yep. It's almost like you kind of retrofitted a CNC to this beautiful, uh, robust Colchester design. Yep. It's been around since the mid-90s. It's been tweaked a little bit along the way, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, a great machine. Okay, really so good first start machine into CNC. Okay, so how easy is it to program for your operators? So let's say you've got guys, people who can run manuals absolutely fine, they know their engineering inside out, but they don't necessarily know how to program the FANUC. Well, with a little CNC knowledge, um, half a day and you'll be up and running, no problem at all. We can provide training courses up at Elland here um, for people with no experience. Um, the machine uh, is operated really in a couple of different modes, fully manual or semi-manual, and we've got MGI, manual guide, and full CNC. So, you, you know, so you've, you've got, got the conversational programming, you've conversation, got the manual. Yep. This will do each and every one of those uh, just when you need it to. Absolutely, yeah, really good. Okay, brilliant. And if someone wants one of these today, uh, when can they pick it up? In stock, again, four to six weeks, by the time we get it through our um, production process, uh, a little bit quicker if you, if you really push us. So a robust, reliable, tool room grade lathe design, but with some CNC for that volume work too. Get in touch with Keith, get in touch with Colchester, come up to the tech centre in Elland to get a demo today.